For subtitles, please click here and choose your preferred language. And when the government fell, I was 19. You know, 19, just going on 20. We walked into the house. And it was completely dark except for one light. There was a kind of eerie calmness in the house. There, were no, there was nobody else. All I could think of was that I would have more of my husband to myself. I remember the election campaign because I had a choice between sitting for my BA, which I'd really worked hard for, and going for the elections. And of course, I went for the election because everybody knew it was going to be really tough this time. And I worked along with Sanjay. But I didn't give any speeches or anything. I mean, no question of me trying to give a speech when I know little. But I worked with him. I was just there for him. And um, then he lost. And the night we lost, he wanted to fly the plane back from Lucknow. So we flew and he switched his entire concentration, I remember, to the plane, to learning it. And we came back home. And um, we walked into the house. And it was completely dark except for one light. And uh, when we walked in, my mother-in-law was all alone and she was sitting with Pupul Jaikar. And there was a kind of eerie calmness in the house. There, were no, there was nobody else there in this large house. And the two of us walked in and we sat down with her and we commenced eating dinner. And there was nobody else. But there was no question of, of talking about what had happened or uh, the election was lost. There were no great scenes. There were no people rushing in. It was very calm. It was like, you know, rest. I think I just had to grow up, you know, and Sanjay and my mother-in-law, um, I think if I had to be so presumptuous, needed some help at that point by somebody who it was young enough to bring more life into the family. You know, I was 40 years younger than my mother-in-law. And I was the very youngest in the family by a long shot. And when the government fell, I was 19, you know, 19, just going on 20. And um, so I helped them shift house and I was quite merry about it. You know? All I could think of was that I would have more of my husband to myself. So it was a different kind of attitude that I had. I found the house, you know, 12 William Crescent, very happy for me. These were the happiest years of my life. I had my husband to myself. I had my, I could get to know my mother-in-law much better. It was a house that I'd gotten married in. It was just a coincidence, you know, that we moved back to the same house. I planted a lot of trees, which are now huge trees now. I found, if anything I can hark back to, as an anchor for my life, because it's been difficult since then, it's those three years, which I thought were really happy. We adjusted to it much better um, because, um, you know, we, our social circle didn't, didn't condemn us or didn't drop us because we didn't have a social circle. We just had people who worked like us. And um, perhaps we saw it as a lesson and we set off to learn in a positive manner what was it that we had done wrong or other people had done wrong and what could it we do to put ourselves right so the three of us really took it as an object lesson i think after many many years mrs gandhi relaxed sanjay relaxed we played badminton badminton we went to movies together the three of us mrs gandhi and i took a holiday together to darjeeling we were actually far more relaxed about it if she hadn't been attacked unceasingly, day after day after day, if they just left her alone after a bit, I'm sure she wouldn't really have wanted even to come back. And she just saw it as laying down a burden, which she had assumed since she was born virtually. And um, somehow this uh, attacks made her come back. My mother-in-law went to jail for a bit. My husband went to jail. Once we won the election, Sanjay didn't want to be in politics at all. It was a very long delivery. Sanjay was there from 8 in the morning 
and he didn't sit for a minute. He rubbed my back down. You know, he made me feel better. My son was exactly a hundred days old when Sanjay died. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.